All right, so uh, I'm uh, actually working on a few projects right now, but this is one of the projects that I've been uh, working really hard on as of late. Uh, so uh, let's jump right into it. I feel like so many people in Quick Play, in Destiny 2, and even in Comp, or even in Trials, just don't know what to run. So uh, I decided to make a bit of this video for us controller players here, even on old gen and new gen, even if you're on PC and play on controller. These are some great setups that you could use um, to kind of make sure that you top frag in quick play, that you carry your own weight in trials, and uh, you get that easy legend rank. So uh, yeah, uh, let's just jump right into this video. I have two sets per um, uh, character type. So I have two, uh, two setups for the hunter uh, with two different subclass trees. Uh, two different for the uh, Warlocks uh, with the same two different subclass trees and two different for the Titan uh, with the same thing. Um, I use different weapons and different subclasses. Uh, the exotics are sometimes the same because uh, sometimes I just like using mobility exotics uh, like transverses on uh, Warlocks or like Stompies on Hunters or whatever. So yeah, um, let's just jump right into this video. Quick preface before we get in in regards to using weapons in uh, comp and quick play and in trials don't mess around with cheese i know it sounds very very appealing to just be like oh well i should just use Jotun or i should use a salvage or salvo or i should use a truth teller or anything like that it's very appealing because it's very easy to get kills with weapons like that um but the thing is it doesn't really work like that in trials and uh, quick play and in competitive you can't really top frag when you do stuff like that. Sure, I mean, if you're trying to have fun, that's great. And, uh, you know, go ahead and use those weapons if you want. But if you want to slay, and I mean slay, in a quick play or trials or comp or anything, you shouldn't be using those weapons. So just a quick preface before we hop in. Avoid cheese at all costs. All right, Warlocks, you guys are up first. And guess what? We got a banger for you. Uh, <laughs> doesn't to me make makes sense anyways so if you're gonna be running uh, this setup in quick play it's a bastion with an adept palindrome and uh, you're running a chaos reach warlock with geo mag stabilizers so two weeks ago or last week um, you could farm adept palindromes like crazy so I'm and it was goddamn that shit was easy as fuck to farm you would just go on arms dealer you threw uh, you if you had a hunter um, you'd get a, a bottom tree hunter or a bottom tree night stalker hunter just throw smoke grenades at your uh, feet and throw vortex nades at uh, the boss's uh, little chamber room um, when he goes up into that little tower and uh, you could kill the boss and it was very easy farm um, I think I hope a lot of people did it um, I got a fairly okay roll I didn't do it that much I had a few friends that I played trials with who said they did it like 30 40 plus times have like a bunch of palindromes just chilling in their vault but um yeah i i didn't do that so i, I mean i have a quite pretty good role here i have quick draw and i've got a uh, high impact reserves um with ricochet rounds and a adept range masterwork um one thing i really want to highlight here is stability and range are the two main things that you really want uh, on a hand cannon uh when you're playing on controller stability makes hitting your shots so easy the recoil deviation in this game um is very easy to deal with when you're using hand cannons so that's why i'm also running the uh hand cannon targeting mods uh you don't really need a fusion rifle targeting or a shotgun targeting if you're going to be using a shotgun um mod you should really prioritize your primary um for targeting because uh, secondaries are pretty easy to get kills with uh, unless you're using a sniper of course and if you want to use a sniper mod that's fine too it's really really good in controller uh, people underrate this gun like crazy I mean it just melts bosses it has such high damage output you can literally hit people out of their supers it's just so nice it's such a nice gun highly recommend anybody should be able you know anybody should be using this it's su such a good gun Whatever. and uh, geomag stabilizers of course this is the meta right now if you're a warlock you're gonna want to be running chaos reach with geomags chaos reach is such a good super it literally shoots through walls like what the hell man it literally shoots through walls and um geomags just make it so much easier to get your super back whenever and you know you can even cancel your super halfway through it which is so so stupid but it's so so sick with that geomag setup you'll be able to get your super back very quickly 
and uh, you'll be able to, you know, get shit done in a sense. So it's uh, it, it's just it's just such a nice setup, and uh, um, you know, I got some gameplay here in the background to show. So warlocks, you guys are in good. You got this. This is a great setup. But just in case. I got you with another one. So uh, let's go to the second setup over here. This is the low key meta. This is the low key meta. This isn't the high key meta. We're not running Felwinters with 120s and Blacktown. None of that John right here. This is such a low key pick, but you know what? It is what it is. So we're running Top Tree Domblade. Um, this was the meta before uh, people realized how fucking busted Chaos Reach was. But uh, now we know that Chaos Reach is busted, but obviously Top Tree Domblet's still a very, 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 very good subclass. You got the Icarus Dash mobility, and uh, you have so much that you can play around you. They have the Celestial Fire and all, you know, there's so much stuff. Um, but what we're running is this uh, Adept um, Astral Horizon. Uh, I have a really, really bad roll. Hopefully if you have a good, better roll, um, it would be very easy. Um, but no, my roll kind of sucks. So, uh, sorry about that, but, um, yeah, we have that, and then we have something that a few people are going to question my judgment for, the Polaris Lance. Now, I have no idea, and I mean, I have no clue why people aren't talking about how busted this goddamn exotic is. Scout Rifles haven't been the meta in so long i mean last time scout rifle meta was a thing was like vanilla d2 where people would be running mida and like nameless midnight um but god damn this polaris lance is so nice it just takes three shots to the head to kill an opponent um it has 120 it has more than 120 range and uh it's just very potent and the stability is so nice it's so smooth to get all those headshots it's so so easy um, only thing is, you're gonna have to cover up what you have close, which is why we have that, uh, um, we have that Adept, uh, Astral Horizon, so we can have some backup if somebody pulls up on us, um, but very, very nice setup, very, very, very nice setup, and we're gonna also be running that new exotic that came out with this, uh, Season of the Chosen for the Warlocks, it makes it so you get your super back very quickly, Astrocross made a video about it, very great video, um, and he just slayed, I mean, you get your super back so quickly, um, you just slay with Polaris Lance, it's so easy, especially on long range maps like Bannerfall, you'll be getting so many kills, Widow's Court, so many kills with this weapon, it's such a great pick, and I highly, highly recommend that you choose this, this is the low key pick, if you, I mean, if you want to go for the first one, first one's very meta, this is the low key pick, still think this is just as good, very great option, but, um, yeah, Warlocks, you guys had it lucky, uh, bless up, honestly, you guys have such a good setup, so trials, quick play, competitive, anything, you should be slaying 100%, make sure you're just practicing with these setups, and you'll be good, you'll be Gucci, my guy, so yeah, uh, that's the Warlocks. Oh, let's go. <laughs> How sweet. Let's go. <coughs> Usually Crucible so toxic, bro. I can't believe someone's actually being nice now. Oh, um. no. What the hell, man? Oh my god, this guy's just teleporting all over the fucking place. Alright, Titans, I gotta come out. I gotta come out and say this real quickly. I was sleeping on y'all so heavy, man. I was sleeping on y'all so heavy, Season of Arrivals. Uh, season of the Hunt, I was sleeping on y'all. I'm sorry. I'd like to apologize. I'd formally like to apologize, Titans. I'm very sorry. You guys are busted. You guys are such a good class. And... These are two setups that I highly, 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 highly recommend you use. So, if any of you remember before Stasis came out, it feels like it was a million years ago. But Bottom Tree Striker was anything that Titans were running. That's the only thing you're running if you're a Titan. So, you know, you already know we gotta be using that. And low-key, we got the Hawk Moon out, baby. The Hawk Moon. Uh, such a classic. Uh, I played on Xbox. Uh, back in D1, so I didn't get to experience the, you know, the majesty of this gun. 
but I mean, it's still, I mean, it's not what it was in D1. I think that's fairly obvious, but it's still a very, very, very good option. Um, you get those paracausal charges to, you know, just like uh, stack up and then you get a headshot, boom! It feels so smooth, feeling so smooth. And if you hit that last shot in a gunfight, you'll definitely have the advantage for sure. You'll probably be able even to fucking kill your opponent. So it's, it's nasty, it's very nasty. Other than that though, we got the CQC uh, new, or not new, what do you mean? The Warmind Shotgun um, with Quick Draw Vorpal, we got the God Roll on it. Now, a lot of people uh, are aware that sooner or later, Felwinters is going to get nerfed. Felwinters is going to get nerfed, that archetype of guns, the Felwinter, Astral Fry, some very slow firing, uh, low handling, one shot kill uh, shotguns are gonna disappear sooner or later. So, we got something else coming up real quick. We got the Seventh Seraph Shotgun, and this shit slaps, my guy. It's a little less consistent than Felwinter's, but it's still so good. Like, sometimes you'll be mapping, kids. I mean, like, mapping, like, straight up, just, like, cross the map, easy clap, just, like, what the hell is going on? This is better than Felwinter's. Sometimes you'll shoot their toe, and they'll, like, you'll shoot them right in the fucking face, and they won't take any damage, but you know what? It is what it is. We gotta take that. Um, but it's such a great option. Such a great option. These two guns... And then we'll obviously be running the Doom Marchers so we can get um, those uh, BS uh, melee kills. Because what you want to be doing as a Titan, especially um, on both of these subclasses, is you're going to be wanting to uh, slide and shotgun and melee a lot. That's what Titans are known for. Y'all are known for that. Y'all are big. And y'all have a lot of uh, uh, momentum. And you guys can uh, do a lot of great movement. So um, great setup uh, for sure for this class. Uh, it's just about how you want to execute it, and um, obviously we're going to have to remain consistent here in saying you want to be running hand cannon targeting uh, on your helmet and shotgun dexterity. You'll get your shotgun out so quickly, you'll be hitting so many heads with your hand cannon aim assist, and uh, yeah, I mean great, 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 great setup. Second setup we got here is the Stasis Titan with the Suros Regime, I know, I know, I know, Suros Regime and Glacio Clasm. Uh, and we obviously still have the Doom Marchers on. So Glacio Chasm, um, kind of a, you know, it's a bit different. You don't see it all the time in the Crucible, but you obviously see it. Um, it's a really good fusion rifle, and uh, fusion rifles are slept on heavy in my opinion. I think fusion rifles have a lot uh, going for them, and um, Glacial Chasm especially excels at that mid-range where shotguns are just out of reach and um, You know, you'll definitely be able to get a few kills with this gun for sure. The range on it is nasty I have a really really bad roll. I have like unrelenting field prep or something Super trash roll, but I still slay with this gun. It's so much fun to use. It's just a great great option Suros Regime Goddamn Season of the Rivals Trials um, that shit was just everywhere. <laughs> Everybody was using this gun um, before uh, the 120 meta came in. Um, but 600 RPM autos are still very, very, very nice to use. I feel like that's slept on so heavily. Um, but 600 RPMs are so nice. Um, highly recommend you still use them. Because, um, I mean, Surge just melts, man. I don't know what's, what you guys want me to tell you. Surge just melts. So if you just uh, hold down RT or whatever, and you just like spam at the dude's head, he's gonna die. And the spinning up perk just ups the time to kill like crazy. Such a great option. Um, uh, very, 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 very good option for Titans here. And uh, obviously with that uh, new stasis super, you're gonna be freezing dudes, you're gonna be sliding in, you're gonna be getting the, oh yeah, you should also be running Whisper of Hedrons. I forgot to mention that. Whisper of Hedrons is so good with cold snap nades because what you're gonna do is you're gonna throw a cold snap nade, you're gonna freeze them, and then you're gonna wanna push and with it, and you'll get a damage buff every time you freeze somebody. So it's such a great option um, uh, when you're playing aggressive. So, I mean, great stuff. You'll also get that slide that'll extend your distance. Low key, if you wanna learn a shotgun, that's probably, you know, that could be just as good, I think. But um, I, I personally like running the Glacial Plasma uh, when I'm doing the Stasis setup because it has such great range and uh, it's very consistent as well. So um, that's about it. So yeah, Titans, you guys have it good. I hope y'all are top fragging quick play comp or trials or anything. I hope y'all are using these setups. These setups are so nice. 
But, uh, yeah. I guess we gotta move on to the next one. Hunters. Hunters, hunters, I got some good news for you. My home class, my main class, I'd like, I'd like to let y'all know a little bit of a secret. I know we're the most popular class amongst, you know, the common folk of Destiny 2, but we actually also have some of the nastiest, nastiest setups. So let me jump right in here. We got that uh, Stasis Hunter. You already know we're gonna be out here freezing people, throwing shurikens. We got that Whisper of Hedrons so it can up our damage. And we got the 120 Fell Winters. This is a deadly combo. Everybody knows about this combo. It's so stupidly broken. Uh, Fell Winters, obviously no need to explain how strong this gun is. And obviously if you didn't get it, um, Back in season 11, you could uh, buy from the kiosk now. But with this uh, steady hand, um, I feel like people on uh, on controller don't understand how OP this perk is. So iron grip, it's getting buffed next season as well. Iron grip uh, significantly increases your stability, but uh, lowers your reload speed by a crazy amount. And uh, next season they're um, making it so the reload speed isn't as bad but holy shit the stability on this thing if you have iron grip is so nice i mean you're literally just like three tapping kits over and over and over again top breaking every single game you're carrying your friends in trials you're carrying your friends in comp it's such a such a nasty setup um and just so nice this i i have killing wind on it along with iron grip but um, 120s just don't feel the same to me after I use Iron Grip because the stability on that thing is so busted. And you could run Counterbalance Stock or you could run Targeting Adjuster but or Icarus or whatever. But personally, I like running um, Backup Mags, so I have some in my magazine. And I run Marksman's Dodge so I can reload every single time. Um, it's, it's a great setup. It's a great setup. I don't know what to say. Felmontries, of course, no need to explain quick draw opening shot you'll be doming kids or you won't be doming kids you'll be like oh my god you'll be like shitting on kids like over and over again and uh we got the zombies this is probably my favorite hunter exotic you literally just get infinite mobility and your speed is just like top notch you could be warning uh, running warm husk and uh, mask of brat uh, mask of backris as well those are also two really good setups that you could use um but yeah, this is a great, great setup. I recommend any hunter to use this. Um, it's just, so, it's just so strong. It's so, so, so strong. Uh, and in my, in my, in the beginning, begin, beginning video that I made uh, about starting this YouTube channel, I use this setup because it's just so good. Um, but yeah, it's just a nasty setup. I highly, highly recommend that you use this. But yeah, let's hop into the second class right here. All right, so the second class I have to show you is also kind of a low-key pick. So we got the Arbalist with the Mid-Tree, Night Stalker, and a 600 RPM. I use a Summoner here. You could use a Non-Hunger if you wanted, but I personally wanted that Summoner because I got that Zen moment. Um, and we also ran a Stomp Beast here because Stomp Beast is just such a great option uh, when you're running, uh, you know, any 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 option with a Hunter. So originally. For all of these uh, videos, um, or for all of these uh, like classes, I ran two different. I did two games each uh, to get gameplay, and um, I think I top fragged every single game. But this game, um, I only had to record one, <laughs> um, and that's because, holy Jesus, I, I mean I ran out of medals this game, and I was just so nice on the sticks. I think I got Ghost of the Night too. It was just a nasty, nasty, nasty fucking gameplay coming out from me, obviously, because I'm the best. But no, uh, this setup is so good. Uh, Arbalist, obviously, um, you want to be running that uh, linear fusion rifle targeting if you're going to be using that. And, or double auto rifle, uh, whatever you'd like. So you can get those headshots. Um, Arbalist, it has such crazy aim assist on controller. Um, you really have to abuse that if you're in trials or something. Sure, you won't be out sniping those really, really, really talented snipers that you hit meet in, you know, game six, game five, but uh, you'll be shitting on everybody beforehand. And uh, you, you might be out gunning, um, uh, you know, people that are rushing you down with thermometers. Like when people are aping, it's super easy to shoot them in the head. So 
it's a great setup for long uh long ranges and it's a great setup for the map um you know maps that are you know uh, have a lot of long range so where's core you know whatever um going into the summoner the summoner is also a great 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 um, auto rifle uh, 600 rpms people stopped using them people like using igneous now for their energy 120s or like you know true prophecy or you know say hand or whatever or sturm or whatever right but goddamn this shit is nice um it actually melts people like it's so easy to just like beam somebody on the head you just get like that 23 23 23 23 23 right um if you want to be running targeting adjuster so you can get that uh crazy aim assist that's cool if you want to be running counterbalance so you can get that better stability that's cool um i personally like running acres so i can jump up in the air with my stompies and beam somebody in the head but uh that's just me so finally going to the mid tree night stalker uh not much to be explained here obviously such a still still such a good class to use um you'll obviously be wamboing kids and uh, that flawless execution is also pretty easy to get with the arbalist so um, it's not that hard to go invis as well and uh just mid tree night stalker is still super good even though they nerfed i believe the right trigger function um we did the uppercut the range on that used to be so nasty it's not as crazy anymore it's still very very good though um so i highly recommend you would uh use this kind of a more low-key class for the hunters because that first class is a little you know a little too toxic for some people it's a little too try hard a little too obvious so uh yeah i'm hoping this uh helped helped us hunters out so the outro has come around thank you everybody for watching um, a few things I'd like to say. This is such a great set. I mean, like, quick play and, uh, comp and trials. I think it's not... Like, Destiny 2 is very weird when you're coming from traditional shooters, like, let's say, Call of Duty. Like, if you're coming from COD, um, it's kind of hard, because there's so many abilities that you have to take into account for. Uh, there's so, there's so much crazy stuff going on. So, um, it's really hard to kind of adapt to, uh, the Destiny style of, uh, you know playing an fps so um i mean hopefully this video helped uh i definitely like to know any cool setups that you guys have too um yeah and i'm sorry i haven't been uploading as of late uh, i kind of have exams going on and i'm working on some bigger projects right now um so hopefully that can uh we'll see that uh come to fruition um but yeah uh thank you guys for watching follow me on twitter if you haven't uh Subscribe if you, you know, like the content, like the video, uh, I don't know, share with your friends. I don't know, what the fuck do YouTubers say? Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll catch you guys around.